Hi folks, it's Jody with Strength and Wisdom Tarot. Here to do November readings for all zodiac signs. Like I always say, these are general readings. You know, they resonate with you, that's great. And they don't, you don't have to do with it. Thank you for everyone who has liked, subscribed, shared my channel. You know I love you guys and you rock. And if you would like a private reading with me, all the info is in the box below. I do readings within a 24 hour period of contact. Uh, shoot me that email. Give me a shout over the phone. They're set up quickly, they're done quickly. Also, readings are done either over the phone or in a private video sent to you by email. I do uh, readings within a half hour or hour increments. Nothing in between, please. Uh, also, if you want to learn tarot, I have tarot card classes. There are five videos plus a bonus video. They're $20 a piece, so you can learn at your own pace. And also, my mystery healing boxes that uh, bring out the highest properties and qualities of your stones. They look great no matter where you put them. I customize them. Too. So if there's a certain theme you want on them or um, certain color, I can do that for you. Again, give me a shout. This reading's going to be for Aquarius. Let's see what's cracking lacking with you in November 2019. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Aquarius, I think you need to get your credibility back. Somebody needs to have faith and trust in you, and that needs to be restored in the situation. Hmm. Let's find out what this is all about. Bottom of the deck. Aquarius, we have the Knight of Cups. Here's a messenger of something sentimental, heartfelt. And Aquarius, you know when somebody means it, when it comes from the heart. They're not just blowing smoke. It's genuine. This comes from the realm of Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, but more so just a messenger. And Aquarius, keep in mind that, you know, this could be the energy you're putting out there or coming towards you. But... Something sincere and heartfelt, whether that's an apology, you know, or making plans to be with somebody, saying something heartfelt, that's the key here. So Aquarius, let's get it. We're going to start off with the Queen of Pentacles. Now here's Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo energy, or somebody who takes on these properties. She's well-planned, scheduled, she likes to have material things, she likes the finer things. Nice clothes. You know, food. But she's grounded. She's practical. She's methodical. She's a realist. She's not going to sugarcoat something. She knows the reality of what's around her. And what's crossing to help or hinder is that you have the emperor. Here's Major Arcana here. King of all kings. Usually depicted as an Aries or a Taurus. Very authoritative-like. Could be a father figure, a boss, boss-like person. But it's also about control, Aquarius. And maybe it's about, you know, controlling the material things in your life. Money, of course. But your, your property, too. Your assets. Now, where I kind of think this is going here, Aquarius, is that maybe something's going to ride. And you need to pull back that control in order to hold on to your material things or hold on to your money. Maybe you or something you're dealing with, because there's anything can come from you or come at you, that something's been, you know, a little out of control. And you need to bring it back in control. Now in your foundation, you have the four pentacles. Now this could be known as the miser card. But he's not speaking up. He's not expressing. He's not voicing his opinion. He's holding on to, you know, the few things that he still owns. The few pentacles. 
and I normally wouldn't look at this like this, Aquarius, about holding on to your assets, but for some reason it seems to ring true with me here. To hold on to what you have left. You know, maybe spending has a, well, it's fun, right? When we feel like, you know, the well will always be full until it goes dry. <laughs> But this is actually controlling a situation here. Holding on to the valuable things, whether it's your assets or, you know, somebody else's here. And putting something back in check, I think. Because what's crowning you is the Eight of Wands. Now, here's reciprocated communication going back and forth. Where is he not talking to yourself here? Whether you're texting, Skyping, face to face, it doesn't matter. It's a, it's a flow between two people. And keeping communication open in a friendship, partnership, loveship is key. When you hold something to yourself here, Aquarius, they think you're hiding something. When you're open and honest, you know, and communicate, you can put somebody else's anxieties or fears to rest. Because in your recent past, you have the page of swords. This comes from your realm as well as Gemini and as well as uh, Libra. Usually considered the spy card. I always think it's internet. Checking on somebody else's social media or, you know, where they're hanging out. It could be an immature communication or very, you know, yep, nope. Okay, you know, type of communications where there's no substance to it. Now, Aquarius, either you or the person you're dealing with, you know, maybe they have been trying to communicate, you know, something that maybe you just don't, you didn't want to address it. You're like, yep, yep, whatever. And again, this could be the energy that you, maybe you're, you were dealing with. It's like, okay, well, I'm here to talk and you don't want to talk. But again, Aquarius, you got to take the bull by the horns here. If somebody just wants to keep on doing what they're doing here, it's not going to end well. Especially if there's some sort of partnership here, Aquarius, where, you know, you don't want to drag the other person down or the other person drag you down. This is where you got to get on the same page here. Because going into your future, you have the Knight of Pentacles. Now, yes, he's the slowest one of all of them. But Aquarius, there's a reason for that. The Knight of Pentacles never has to go back and see if he did something right. He knows he did it right the first time. All eyes are dotted, all T's are crossed. And when he comes with the Pentacle, it's rock solid. It's concrete. You can believe in it. It just takes a while to get there. Now you have two messages here. You have something that's heartfelt and sentimental, and then you have something that's very valuable. It could be the, you know, the conversation of money. Or money comes in. I kind of feel here that, you know, whatever this offer is here, Aquarius, kind of puts you back, back on the map. It's just a slow process. And how somebody or people see you in this situation, Aquarius, they see you as the Wheel of Fortune, a.k.a. Karma! <laughs> it's good karma, though, Aquarius. It's in the upright. When you're on the bottom of the wheel and things are, sp are spinning, because the wheel's always spinning, you're on the upflow of things. Things start falling into place. Things start happening. You might even think you're on a lucky streak. And people are seeing you like this, though, Aquarius. They, they're looking at you like, Aquarius got to turn it around. They might even think that, you know, being around you might be a stroke of luck. Maybe somebody thinks you're, you're their good karma. <laughs> Let's hope. But I think, Aquarius, they're looking at you like to turn this situation around. To turn a negative into a positive. You're the thinker. You're the overthinker. You know, you're the one that can manifest things and make sense of things put him in that little, you know, category and make it work. You are the one 
they're looking at as taking control of the situation or controlling something yourself. And staying grounded and practical and holding on to your coin or holding on to these valuable things. You know their worth. And they're not worth losing. And in your environment, more pentacles. You have the three of pentacles. And this is being recognized for your fine skills, qualities, and crafts. Aquarius being recognized for that great person that you are. It's about getting, you know, the recognition that you deserve. It could be learning a skill, a craft, a trade. Just being that great person. But somebody puts a shine on you or you them, Aquarius. They know your talents. They know you can turn something around. And you, Aquarius, not anyone else, you. Somebody here might have a lot of faith and a lot of hope in you. And that's why they put that shine on you, Aquarius, because they know that you're the person that can turn anything around. Now, in your hopes and in your fears, Aquarius, you have the five of wands. Now, here's petty arguments, gossip, secrets, lies. Can be some jealousy here. Not everybody's on the same page. Not everyone's seeing eye to eye. Nobody even hopes for that. That's a fear. That's a fear of conflict. Maybe it's a fear that, you know, you can't see something from somebody else's point of view. Now, Aquarius... Because your emotions are in the back seat, like most air signs. You come up with the facts, the figures, the numbers, all that jazz. Turn the situation around like you can, Aquarius. You might have to dust off uh, the emotions that are in the back seat and pull one or two up front with you. <laughs> Sincerity goes a long way. Instead of arguing with something here, it will be to your benefit, Aquarius, that you see something from a different point of view, a different angle, because that's what your outcome card is, is the hangman. And the hangman feels stuck, doesn't go forward, doesn't go backwards. But he sees something from a different point of view. He sees something from a different perspective, whether it's through another set of eyes or at another angle. Aquarius, you can incorporate, bring these pentacles in, bring these materialistic things, get that recognition that you want and you deserve. And avoid any conflict with anybody. That's how you take, take control of the situation here, Aquarius, is when you see it from a different angle. And when you don't treat something like the same old, same old, you come at it at a different angle. The results for you are going to be awesome and positive. Wow. So that is what I have for you. Please keep on liking, subscribing, sharing to my channel, and I'll see everybody back here real soon. Take care.